here out in the uh, 1800 territory again and um, just down there there was a there's an old pear tree or something but there was a ruin over there too you can just see all the bulbs and that in the ground a bit of a mound but this is the site where I found the SAR infantry button with the horn on it and I've just come up the hill a bit and right down the bottom of the hole there you'll see I already popped it out before and just dropped it back in but this is a great little find it's got a um, looks like it's got I'll just wipe on my pants a little bit it looks like it's got a uh, some bird a duck or something flying on it it actually probably comes off of a uh, sports coat or something like that but... just got uh, all those cows came up while I was in the paddock over there and I'm not that keen on cows so I've just moved over the other side of the road and I've never detected over here but I thought I'd come and have a bit of a look because it's where there used to be an old store across the road and um, and there was a property over where I just was where I found the SAR button and that nice button before but I've just first target over here is a George the third half penny which is uh, pretty cool haven't found a George the third for a while but uh, here you go George the third half penny and um, give her a bit of a clean up when I get home it's pretty caked in dirt they're normally quite smooth these given that uh, they would have come out with the their settlers but uh, yeah it's a pretty cool find George III there you can just see his shadow there almost looks like a keyhole anyway happy hunting all and uh, I'll keep at it and see what else I can find on this side hopefully it turns up some nice silver uh, well the coins are a bit few and far between but I'll come over this other side I found my second coin now um, not quite sure what it is yet it just see it there in the hole I did pop it out, it was sitting in the side of the hole just there. Um, you can see where it's come out of. And um, we'll just have a look and we'll see what it is. It's an oldie. And um, see if we can get some. Actually, it's not too bad a nick. Soaring through the haze, not time in the day, searching for birth from paradise. Oh, I've been filming a few live digs but um, unfortunately I didn't film this one but just come up with this beautiful Victoria sixpence here just come out of the hole you can just see that's the dirt that was stuck to it I often like to look and see if there's an imprint on there of the, the actual coin it's just the shape of it but, but that's it there a nice uh, Victoria sixpence that's in pretty good nick too if you look at that Let's see if I can get a date off the black on this side here we go it's in good nick I'm not gonna rub it too much shouldn't mind getting a date off that just for the just for the sake of filming actually I can't get a date oh 1850 1853 or 1854 somewhere around there but clean that up at home that's a nice uh, really nice Vicky silver that is it's um, Good. I was hoping I'd get a silver here today. Anyway, happy hunting. Today, uh, I'm just going to do a live dig on this one because it was only just over there, um, just a couple of feet away, or maybe six feet away. I just got the 1853, 54, somewhere around there, Victoria sixpence. And now, it's a little bit broken. Just give me a few 41s. It might be rubbish, but there hasn't been a lot of rubbish in this paddock. Right there in the middle. Let's hope it's something good because um, I do like doing live digs, as I said before, because they're um, you kind of get the same excitement I do. <laughs> Sometimes if you've already dug it, you've had that excitement. I do apologise how much I move the camera around, it's a little bit hard to dig one handed. Oop, just, just oop, flip that over. Can't see anything there yet. Bit of a pro find around. There we go. Something right at the bottom of the hole there. Let's just scrape it away slowly. What do we got? Oh, 
I think it's just a musket ball or something like that. Yeah, it is too. It's another musket ball. This one's been flattened off a bit though. So I'm starting to get some cool finds here, so I'm pretty happy and uh, just got a silver, so even happier. Hey, uh, this is fast becoming a very productive site for just a bit of a paddock. Um, <laughs> still got that cow over there just staring me down, that black cows. I'm not that fond of cows, kind of chased me out of the paddock and it's still watching me. I'll get back over there later, that's a good spot as well, but... Just got a nice 11.42, 12.41. Kind of... Reeks of silver. So let's hope it is a little bit fluty, which might mean it's um, a kind, some kind of uh, relic or something. But give her a bit of a wide berth just in case there's some quality coins coming out of here, as in the the date around the 1850s, right back to George the Third. See what we got. What's in here? Starting to get a bit excited. Okay, just off there to the side. Oh, yeah, I didn't hit it. I'll just go in behind it here. Slowly leave that out and see what we got. Probably in that lump there. Just check the hole. Yep. Just in there somewhere. See what we got. Let's see what we got. There it is. It's another silver by the looks. Yep. Cool. Thought it was behaving like a silver. And this one. Another sixpence. And just see there. Crown's a bit dirty here, real clingy here. It's another sixpence. Might be able to just get a date off the bottom of this one. Cool. No, I can't get the date off it. Um, it'll be 18 something. Let's see who's on the other side. Nick Vicky again. There you go. You can just see Victoria popping out from through the dirt there. There she is. Beautiful. Another sixpence. Uh, hope that I can get a big silver at this site. Anyway, happy hunting all from Marksman Coin Relic Down Under at wordpress.com.